Hi, um, so I was bulimic until I found the high carb vegan lifestyle and I just wanted to ask Carly like what he would like the advice he would give to someone that's got an eating disorder now. Um, kind of like I want to make the video that I would have liked to have seen at the time when I found this lifestyle. So what, what advice would you give to someone today? Eat too bad to vomit. And if you vomit, eat what you vomited. <laughs> and it might sound harsh, but it's true. It's true as good foods. You might fill, fill up on fruit and rice and feel sick and go, oh, I'm getting a trigger. No, you're not. That's just in your head. You're eating good food. You're eating fuel. Go out and use your fuel. Live. Live. Help others. Work in an orphanage. Ride your bike to work. Get out there and help others. When you're serving others, you won't be in your head too much thinking about yourself too much. So you have that fuel in. Fill up and feel full and go and use that fuel and do stuff. You know, do stuff that's meaningful to society. You'll never have a weight issue in your life again long term, ever. So you might rebound it with your weight, whatever, start. that's fine, that's normal, it's healthy. Accept that, understand that, fuel up, and live strong, live hard. So then how would you kind of describe it to people? Is that about the weight that they gained? Or, because obviously if you're throwing up and you're doing lots of excessive exercise and you're at a really low weight, like how do you kind of change that mindset to accept it? You just got to hard the fuck up and, and focus on that there's 700 pound people out there so you might be a few pounds over but you'll be coming back down to a healthy weight. Like my girlfriend Freely, she was the same. She went up, she come back down. Just, it's nature's design. Nature is going to heal the body with excess, with excess fat, with excess fluid. So you're going to go up before you're coming down. That's good, it's healthy, it's normal. It's, it, it's, like, it's like hitting your hand against a brick wall and you get some, some swelling there. That, just accept the swelling, accept how it is. Eventually it'll go back to what it should be. So you can't really rush it. Just, all we can do is do good things. It's always the right time to do, good, to do the right thing. So you carb up, get your sleep, get your water, get your little activities going, have, and have fun and help others. Put your energy into serving other people, helping themselves. Yeah, I definitely like, can relate to that and I feel... I don't feel as bothered anymore. You like, feel good because you're, yeah. help, you're helping other people help themselves. You know? yeah. Like I was really conscious at first that I put weight on. I was like, because you're so like in your head, like all you're bothered about is weight and mm. size. And only like maybe the last year or so that when I've gained the weight, I just don't really care as much anymore. And like it is just to have a purpose other than the size of your body. And yeah, you get to, and then it's good because then you get to focus on your. your your personality and your heart. Yeah. I mean, it's good to be aesthetic, but that's personality is the main thing that work really work on. Aesthetics is good, but that comes over time. Personality, that's what matters right now. Your personality is the most attractive thing you've got in your life. Mm. Yeah, to people who are worthwhile. So focus on personality. Aesthetics comes with it over time. Fit, slim, fit, whatever. But too many people focus on that and neglect their personality, <laughs> and they're just nut jobs to be around. Like I was like, but even when I was at my like slimmest. I was, I hated myself then, like, That's right. and I was just a crazy person to be around, and I like myself much, much more now, even though I'm bigger, and, yeah, don't worry so much about it, because then you're concentrating on, who you, like, who you are, rather than just if you can fit in your jeans, or how you look on a night out, yeah. Mm. yeah. If everybody was blind, how many people would you impress? Pretty much. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you get thin and slim long term, but don't worry about that. That comes in the post. If you were blind, how many people do you impress? Work on that. You keep carbon up, eating up, sleeping up. Results are in the post aesthetically, but in the meantime, heart and mind, personality, build that. Deal with it. All right.